Promoting equitable access to teachers, new versus old educator definitions. Welcome to the California Department of Education's CDE's video series on promoting equitable access to teachers or PEAT, P-E-A-T program. This is the second video in the PEAT video series. The CDE has developed the PEAT program to assist local educational agencies or LEAs in identifying and addressing local disparities or equity gaps. This video will address the State Board of Education's, SBE's, adopted educator definitions that were updated in November of 2019. These definitions are used by LEAs to calculate equity gaps. The Every Student Succeeds Act, or ESSA, Section 1112B2, requires LEAs applying for ESSA funding to describe how they will identify and address any disparities that result in low-income and minority students being taught at higher rates than other students by ineffective, inexperienced, or out-of-field teachers. LEAs met this requirement in 2019 by self-reporting through the Local Control and Accountability Plan, or LCAP, Federal Addendum. LEAs are expected to locally update the section of their LCAP federal addendum related to educator equity to reflect the updated definitions of ineffective and out-of-field teachers. The definition of inexperienced teachers, those with two or fewer years of experience, has not changed. LEAs reported their equity data through the LCAP federal addendum in 2019 based on our original definitions in the California ESSA state plan of ineffective and out-of-field teachers. LEAs also needed to analyze the distribution of inexperienced teachers. However, the definition of inexperienced teachers has not changed. It is still teachers with two or fewer years of experience. I will go over the new definitions of ineffective and out-of-field in a moment. These definitions will be used to update LEA equity information on an annual basis. Please note that this process requires an in-depth look at student and teacher data. So many of you may be asking yourselves, why are there new definitions to classify teachers? Well, specifically, new definitions were created based on direct feedback from the field. Numerous county and district personnel from across the state noted that the ESSA definitions for ineffective and out-of-field teachers were unclear and or did not match or align with the current teacher preparation or county program classifications. Therefore, these definitions were refined for clarity based on feedback to meet local needs. California's refined definition of an ineffective teacher includes individuals that are teaching with emergency permits and misassigned teachers, or those that are teaching outside their credentialed area without a temporary permit which would allow them to do so. Finally, an ineffective teacher would be someone teaching without a credential. CDE staff received quite a bit of feedback from the field that we needed to add specificity to the definitions of both an ineffective and an out-of-field teacher. Additionally, CDE staff also worked with our colleagues at the Commission on Teacher Credentialing, or CTC, to refine the definitions. The State Board of Education adopted definitions that include the specific authorizations for ineffective. These include provisional internship permits, or PIPs, short-term staff permits, or STIPs, variable term waivers, and substitute permits or teaching permits for statutory leave, TIPSL holders serving as the teacher of record. PIPs can be issued to individuals who have not yet met the subject matter competency requirement needed to enter an intern program to fill an immediate staffing need in an employing agency. STIPs can be issued to individuals that possess a baccalaureate degree or higher have satisfied the basic skills requirement, as well as completed required coursework to fill an acute staffing need in an employing agency. 
Variable term waivers can be issued to individuals to give them additional time to complete credentialing requirements when a fully credentialed teacher is not available for the assignment. TIPSLs can be issued to individuals with baccalaureate degrees that have satisfied the basic skills requirement, as well as the initial 45 hours of TIPSL preparation to fill a position where the teacher of record is unable to teach due to a statutory leave, medical or otherwise. Also due to feedback from the field that we needed to provide more detailed definitions based on specific authorizations that are issued by the CTC, the State Board of Education adopted an updated definition for out-of-field teachers. The revised definition makes it clear that an out-of-field teacher holds a credential of some sort but has not demonstrated subject matter competence in the subject area for the student population or subject for which they are assigned. The old out-of-field definition only called out General Education Limited Assignment Permit, GLAP, and Special Education Limited Assignment Permit, CLAP holders as being out-of-field. The revised definition includes the following permits, short-term waivers, emergency English learner or bilingual permits, and local assignment options, which I will discuss in a moment. Short-term waivers allow employers to assign teachers who hold basic credentials to teach outside their credential authorization for one semester or less with the teacher's consent. Emergency English learner permits and bilingual authorization permits allow qualified individuals to be employed while completing the requirements for an English learner certificate or bilingual authorization. Local assignment options allow employing agencies to place a teacher in a position outside their credential authorization if the agency is unable to assign a teacher or other certificated employee with the appropriate credential. The definition makes it clear that a teacher is considered inexperienced if they have two or fewer years of experience. Please note that the definition for an inexperienced teacher remains the same as originally presented. I just want to direct everyone to our CDE webpage and program, Promoting Equitable Access to Teachers, or PEAT. On this page, you'll find the data collection instructions, as well as other data analysis tools to look for equity gaps that may exist at various LEAs. We also have PEAT tools for conducting a root cause analysis and engaging equity stakeholders in the data analysis and solution development process. We have pages dedicated to recruitment and retention strategies, diversifying the teacher workforce, and utilizing asset-based pedagogies as a strategy for recruiting and retaining a diverse educator workforce. Please visit the PEAT webpage at www dot cde dot ca dot gov slash pd slash ee slash peat dot asp thank you for your attention i hope all of this information was helpful please do not hesitate to contact tara bennett brown education programs consultant at the cde or Kristen Cruz Allen, Education Administrator at the CDE. Tara and Kristen are members of the Teacher and Leader Policy Office in the Educator Excellence and Equity Division and can be reached by phone at 916-445-7331 or via email at tlpo at cde.ca.gov. This episode was produced by the California Department of Education. Thank you.